Well, it is a great delight of mine to be here with Kirk, and we are at Seabright Gardens, and we're going to be talking today about wonderful blooming plants that are happening, and some that aren't even blooming at this late time of the summer, right? Yes, yes, ones that look great well, right now. Well, let's jump in. Well, yeah, sounds great. Uh, which one do you want to talk about? Why don't we do, this is beautiful. This here, this is McFadden's Lace Fern. It's actually, um, the Lace Fern is uh, native to the North Pacific Islands, like Hawaii. That's the closest islands. Wow. To, the, to us, but actually it's really hardy here in our gardens here in the Northwest. And um, it's an evergreen fern, but when it gets down to the single digits, it will burn the fronds off. But, but yeah, so, and then I'm off. assuming that it's not a runner so much as a clumper? Exactly, nice. yeah, it clumps. Yep, it's yeah, a beautiful. nice clumper and nice texture and form to it, so. And then, yeah. you know, all of us know hostas because mm -hmm. we, we love to come out here and see so many. This one oh, is yeah. quite large and beautiful. Yeah, this one, uh, it's really getting some yellow from the uh, from the summer heat on the edges. It's nice thick leaves. It's hard for the slugs to drill through this leaf. It's like leather. Nice. And uh, it's getting that nice yellow edge coming on from this sun and the summer heat. So. And there are hostas that bloom. I, I understand yes, that. Yes, absolutely. But, but yeah. this one either has it yet or still will in the future. But uh, even this the, is lovely. It just finished blooming, so I clipped the blooms clipped off. Them right off. Yeah, yeah, it that's bloomed a, last month. There's great. there's that's one hosta here blooming now. Right that, there. Uh, this is a stained glass. It's a fragrant flowered one. And the nice thing about the fragrant flowered hostas is they put on a lot of new leaves in the summer months. They like really? the summer heat. The uh, origins, the genetic origins are from the subtropics down in southern China. And this is a leaf that came out in the winter. It has some winter dam uh, damage from the spring, from yeah. the hail. And so you can just take these leaves off because you've got all these nice new oh. ones coming now that are that look a lot better than uh, the one that was damaged this spring, so. Beautiful. Yeah. I'm, you know, I'm falling more and more in love with dark foliage plants. This one is stunning. Yeah, this, this hibiscus here, it's, it's, it's uh, nice because it has the dark, the new, the new growth is that dark maroon red, and um, the, the older leaves get green, but the flowers are blooming now in the garden. They like the summer heat. It's a starry, starry night, this one, this variety here. And they really do, especially this variety of the hibiscus family, they really do bloom late in the year, don't yes, they? Yes, this is their peak right now. Nice. Right in the heat of summer, and they just love this, the summer heat. And I fell in love with this plant, Kirk, yeah. at, from you having it here yeah, years yeah. and years ago. Yeah. Tell me about it. This is a Roscoe, it's cinnamon sticks because of the uh, nice cinnamon colored stem, uh, stems it has. But it, it doesn't really come up until late spring, Sometimes not even till June. This year it came up a little early for some reason, which is odd because we had such a cold, cool exactly. spring. So I was surprised to see it come up. But it, sometimes you think you lost in the garden and it comes up. Um, the bulbs, it's like the rhizomes are like a kind of like a dahlia, yeah. actually. And um, but they they come up late and then they start blooming now. Here's the blooms of this one, and it'll keep just throwing out, flushing out blooms until it gets cold late late fall. So and I have to tell you that mine made a lovely clump. Over about three years, it just kept clumping out bigger and bigger. It was such Great. a beautiful. Yeah, that's exactly what they do. Yeah, they handle uh, sun well to nearly full shade. Full shade, so, yep. yeah, yeah. And of course, we, we would be remiss to not mention this beautiful family. Yeah, the yeah, Arbutalons. Yeah. Yeah, the Arbutalons are great. They, they uh, start blooming here. Actually, they started blooming this spring, but they, they like the heat and they will continue blooming until, um, until the first hard frost. And you also have some wonderful thing happening today, don't you, here at the nursery? Yeah. The, jewel box sale for Cascade Nursery Trail. Wonderful. There's six nurseries here, and we also have um, Pudding River wine cellars Ooh. that are here, and, and a food vendor. So, so many reasons to come out exactly. and celebrate, it's then, a huh? great day to come down here, <laughs> yeah. Well, for yeah. more information, we always invite you to go to gardentime.tv. We'll click over their website, gather up all that information, and then come out and buy some wonderful late summer blooming plants for your garden. Thank you, my friend. Thank you.